So it gets asked quite a bit, what is a clean agent fire suppression system? Well, it's electrically non-conducting, uh, leaves no residue upon evaporation. So it's gonna discharge as a gas into your enclosure. That could be FM200 or Novak 1230, which are stored as liquefied compressed gases inside the agent container. And then you have your inert gases, which are gases already stored in the cylinder, but they all discharge as a gas. The one key benefit about clean agent fire suppression systems is the fact that they're 3D. So you may have some uh, cabinets, server rack cabinets, those type of things, or tables or whatever, that when the system is discharging, it's totally discharging the design concentration into that enclosure. It will go under tables, into server cabinets, those type of things, and actually uh, suppress, or should actually suppress whatever the ignition source is. So that's the one key factor that you have to understand between clean agent and water, is we want these systems to discharge um, in the incipient stage, quick extinguishment, fast detection, what's gonna be quicker extinguishment of the ignition source, whereas a sprinkler system, you may have to get your heat to 135 degrees at the sprinkler before the sprinkler itself would actually activate and start discharging the water. Clean agent fire suppression systems are there for fire extinguishment. Most of your sprinkler systems are for fire control. So once you understand between the two and what type of protection you're really needing for your high value assets, and you have your ex experts go over those with you, then that's when you can make the better decision on which application best suits.